News media tonight under fire for coverage of the special counsel probe after years of claims of possible smoking guns and bombshells. I am outraged by the behavior of these networks. Okay. Collusion, 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 First collusion. All, let, no collusion. Okay, here's Chris. my here's my no case. Collusion. Here's my case. Apologize. Never. Here's my case. Never? Never. I didn't do anything wrong. These questions are real. Well, I, I they needed to be regarded as such. Treasonous? And they needed to be investigated. Did people you hear me say on? that? No, but I heard Do people I hold you to account for what people say that, I, that you don't? There were people on this network that did. How about this network should apologize? How about Jeff Zucker should Do I ask you to apologize for everything the president says that's not true? No. Okay, good. So we're even. But Let you asked me, ask me to this. apologize for what I what? do, and I do. Hmm. Lots of calls for apologies today. Uh, let's turn to Fox News contributor, Democratic strategist Jessica Tarlov and president of the Media Research Center, Brent Bozell. Welcome to you both. Thanks, Shannon. Hi, how are you? All right, I want to play you something uh, from Adam Schiff, who is now congressman, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Democrat. Here's what he said back in 2017. I can tell you that the case is more than that, uh, and I can't go into the particulars, but there is more than circumstantial evidence. I don't want to go into specifics, but I will say that there is evidence that is not circumstantial uh, and, uh, and is very much worthy of investigation. Okay, uh, the investigation is over. Uh, Democrats have praised Mueller on the front end, so Jessica, now will they accept the findings when it comes to collusion? I think once everyone sees the full report that the findings will be accepted there, but I have heard from a number of Democrats, and I support them in this, that people who did say that they have evidence of collusion should present it. We are obviously not privy to everything Adam Schiff has seen, though I imagine Bob Mueller was, and then some. But Adam Schiff, Eric Swalwell, etc., they should present that evidence to the American people. I want as much information out there as possible. Okay, so Brent, with that in mind, uh, you know, people continue to say they need to see the full report, but the Attorney General has summarized it. He quoted from the special counsel specifically saying there was absolutely no collusion. Could there be some misinterpretation on the Attorney General's part? No, no, and, and I disagree with your guess. No, the Democrats aren't going to get over this. They're never going to get over this. They're still pursuing them. Listen to them today. They want the full report. They're going to hold their own hearings. They're not about to accept this. Now they're grasping at straws with the obstruction cause, which is just silly. In other words, Donald Trump investigated, he obstructed it with an investigation on his innocence. It doesn't make any sense. These people, look, if the media truly were patriotic, they would be celebrating the vindication of their president, pure and simple. They want the overthrow of Don, Donald Trump. They want to overthrow this government, and they are furious that they failed. They thought they would. Well, and, let, let me say something. Within the last couple of weeks, though, John Brennan, who has been out there for the last couple of years saying that Trump is in all kinds of trouble and this is not going to end well for him, predicting indictments of the Trump family just a couple of weeks ago, he was confronted today with the findings, and here's what he said. Well, I don't know if I received bad information, but I think I suspected that there was more than there actually was. Okay, so Jessica, what do you do with that? I mean, he's saying, yeah, maybe, maybe I overhyped it. Well, I, I think that we should say, okay, John Brennan took responsibility for that and said he overhyped it. Eric Holder was but on with Ari Melber. But after years of being out there but, saying that the Trump family, the president himself, they were but, all in massive trouble and that they had colluded with Russia and betrayed their country. You can't well, just what take about, that back. What about the seven plus years that were spent by Ken Starr going after the Clintons? $80 million in 1990s money that elicited zero. And to Brent's point that he was making earlier, if we had had a two year investigation into Hillary Clinton by Loretta Lynch, oh, by a special counsel, and then Loretta Lynch got the report and just said, oh no, I'm going to give you a four page summary, you would be flipping out. Congress voted 420 to zero mm -hmm. to release the Mueller report. Now Mitch McConnell is trying to block it. I know that we will get it in the end, but I don't see what the problem I don't think is. He's trying there. to block it. It seems like he I did. mean to me, Brent. Today it, he did. Well, he blocked a vote on it. He said because of national security, because you know there are everything things everything will be redacted he, that needs to be redacted. Right, but that that is going to take a little yeah. bit of time. But listen, Brent, you know there was that that vote 420 to nothing. We've heard a number of Republicans, including the president himself, saying yes. I want the public to see it. I've got nothing to hide. Great. Well, and so maybe they should, but they can't. Look, 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 look. They're, they're, you're, grasp, you're grasping at straws on this one. I think it's more important to ask this question.
Put aside the dozens upon dozens of, of Democratic lawmakers and the dozens of people on the press who all said they believed he was guilty. Adam Schiff said, as you mentioned, Shannon, Adam Schiff said he had the evidence. At this point, let's do a little role reversal. Let's demand of Adam Schiff. Where is that, that, that evidence? And you went to the American people and you accused the president of something and you said you had the evidence. Where's that evidence? I'd love to see what Adam Schiff was talking about. Okay, I don't well, know now. if you're just not release, listening release to that. me. I release said exactly that. the same thing as you. I said it at the open the segment that people who said they had evidence should present it. But you want to okay. wind yourself but, up about a narrative that Democrats... This. After 2,800 subpoenas and 500 interviews, what would Congress have that the special counsel hasn't already seen and used I to come to this conclusion? I just said, I don't think it's possible that anyone has something that Bob Mueller doesn't have. But okay. that doesn't mean that the report shouldn't be released. And it means that people should be held responsible who promise something that they mm -hmm. may not be able to deliver. But the idea so that you we, call Democrats on the are Congress? crazy for wanting would to see the report. Would you call on the Democrats? Would you call on the Democrats to cut it out and stop demanding these hearings and leave it alone no. and accept the, the report of, of, of Mueller? Would you call on them to well, do that, accept that, that report? That's very different. Accepting the report and canceling investigations when we were elected for the, one of the main reasons, actually, for oversight and checks and balances on this administration are very different. The Mueller report should absolutely so, so be accepted. So you'll continue investigating collusion? I, well, I you don't know what investigation collusion. I, Jessica, do you I think don't that's know what it? Do you think that's worth the Democrats' time, or do you think it potentially blows up in their face if America is sick of this Mueller investigation, whether you were for or against the president, and they've now said, "Okay, it's done. We have a determination by the special counsel, the one that Democrats said Mueller is without reproach. We we trust this guy." Mm -hmm. um, if you now continue with the investigations uh, along the same threads possibly impeachment, is that going to feed right into the president's narrative and he's going to go out and campaign against that in 2020? Well, impeachment definitely does, which is why Nancy Pelosi has gotten out in front of this and said, we're not talking about that right now. Besides, it wouldn't even get through the Senate mm -hmm. uh, if we were to find grounds for it. I think that oversight committees should do their job. Well, Democrats can keep talking about the issues that matter to Americans, which turned got mm -hmm. us 40 congressional seats in seven gubernatorial uh, mansions. OK. Uh, and that's how we're going to go from here. Well, and but, it sounds like on the Senate side, the words, Republicans you, there are going to do some in investigations words, not, into how this whole thing got started. Accepted the Mueller report. In other words, you I, have not accepted the Mueller okay, report. Okay, okay, we got to leave it there. Did you see the Mueller there. report and Everybody. I didn't get my copy? Okay, no, no, no. Uh, Barr, as per right. the statute, has quoted the special counsel and given the conclusions. We will wait because There's Barr has point. promised that it's going to come out. He wants to release as much as possible. The president has said yes. So you guys come back once we get it and we can read a bit. I'm excited. All right, Jessica and Brett, thank you.